Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 27. In the beginning of the reign of Yahu Yachim, the son of Yoshiyahu, king of Yahuda, came this word unto Yirmiyahu from Yahuwah, saying, Thus says Yahuwah to me, Make you bonds and yokes, and put them upon your neck, and send them to the king of Edom, and to the king of Moab, and to the king of the Ammonim, and to the king of Sor, and to the king of Sidon, by the hand of the messengers which come to Yerushalayim, unto Sidik Yahu, king of Yahuda, and command them to say unto their masters, Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the yellow high of Yashadael, Thus shall ye say unto your masters, I have made at the earth, at the man, and at the beast that are upon the ground, by my great power and by my outstretched arm, and have given it unto whom it seemed meet unto me. And now have I given eth all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadne Satsar, the king of Babel, my servant, and the beasts of the field have I given him also to serve him. And all the nations, rather, and all nations shall serve him, and eth his son, and eth his son's son, until the very time of his land come. And then many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of him. And it shall come to pass that the nation and kingdom which will not serve the same eth Nebuchadnezzar, Sassar, the king of Babel, and eth that will not put eth their neck under the yoke of the king of Babel, that nation will I punish, says Yahuwah, with the sword, and with the famine, and with the pestilence, until I have consumed them by his hand. Therefore hearken not ye to your prophets, nor to your diviners, rather diviners, nor to your dreamers, nor to your enchanters, nor to your sorcerers, which speak unto you, saying, Ye shall not serve at the king of Babel. For they prophesy a lie unto you, to remove you far from your land, and that I should drive you out, and ye should perish. But the nations that bring at their neck under the yoke of the king of Babel, and serve him, those will I let remain still in their land, rather own land, says Yahuwah, and they shall till it and dwell therein. I spoke also to Siddiq Kiyahu, king of Yahuda, according to all these words, saying, Bring eth your necks under the yoke of the king of Babel, and serve him and his people, and live. Why will ye die, you and your people, by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, as Yahuwah has spoken against the nation that will not serve at the king of Babel? Therefore hearken not unto the words of the prophets that speak unto you, saying, Ye shall not serve at the king of Babel, for they prophesy a lie unto you. For I have not sent them, says Yahuwah, yet they prophesy a lie in my name, that I might drive you out, and that ye might perish, ye and the prophets that prophesy unto you. Also I spoke to the priests and to all this people, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, hearken not to the words of your prophets that prophesy unto you, saying, Behold, the vessels of Yahuwah's house shall not shortly be brought again from Babel, for they prophesy a lie unto you. Hearken not unto them, serveth the king of Babel, and live. Wherefore should this city be laid waste? But if they be prophets, and if the word of Yahuwah be with them, 
Let them now make intercession to Yahuwah, Sevaoth, that the vessels which are left in the house of Yahuwah and in the house of the king of Yahudah and at Yerushalayim go not to Babel. For thus says Yahuwah, Sevaoth, concerning the pillars and concerning the sea and concerning the bases and concerning the remnant of the vessels that remain in this city, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, took not, when he carried away captive Eth Yokenyahu, the son of Yahu Yachim, king of Yahuda, from Yerushalayim to Babel, and Eth all the nobles of Yahuda and Yerushalayim. Yea, thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yashadael, concerning the vessels that remain in the house of Yahuwah and in the house of the king of Yahuda and of Yerushalayim. They shall be carried to Babel, and there shall they be until the day that I visit them, says Yahuwah. Then will I bring them up and restore them to this place.